All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Sabelle Rasim. I will be your facilitator for tonight. We are at the American Heritage Virtual College Fair. So once again, thank you all so much for being here. We have some amazing institutions here to present their information and tell you a little bit more about them tonight. But you're definitely gonna want to know just how efficient we are tonight with this virtual college fair by just listening up to just few of our housekeeping items. So you do seem to see some of these items on your screen currently. So let's go through them super quickly. You may have some questions for these institutions and that's awesome. That's definitely one thing you should do is ask questions. So the way to do that is actually through the Q&A function down at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Your chat is actually disabled. So you cannot chat back and forth with the institutions, but what you can do is you can ask questions through the Q&A function down at the bottom of your screen. Please make sure that when you are asking questions, you're asking questions and using the institution that the question is for within your question. So if the question is for XYZ College, make sure to put XYZ College in your question so that they know that the question is for them. They will then type their answers within that Q&A function again down at the bottom. You can ask questions at any point in time. Please do not wait till the last minute because we do not have a live Q&A uh, in this virtual college fair at the end. So do not wait till the end for those questions. Please ask them throughout the entire presentation. With that said, it is a webinar format, meaning that your camera and microphone are turned off. You are muted and your video is off and the panelists cannot see or hear you. So that is our way to interact with you is through that Q&A uh, down at the uh, bottom of your screen. Oh, super sorry about that. With that said, there are more sessions for tonight. So please make sure that you are signing up for more sessions. This is one out of many, many college presentations that are offered. So go ahead and sign up for those sessions for the next time slot. And last but not least, this is being recorded. So if you have a friend that missed out on tonight or you just didn't catch something that someone said, all the sessions are being recorded and will be available on the same page that you registered, uh, but from about a week from now. So make sure to uh, check out for that in about a week from now. So without further ado, again, my name is Sabah Rasim, the facilitator, and I'll be helping throughout this session. But without further ado, I invite Emmanuel College and uh, they'll get us started. Thank you all so much. Thanks, Sabelle. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this college fair. I'm super excited to be here with you all. I'm going to share my screen now. And as much as we all use Zoom, we all still have our issues. Here we go. All righty. So to give you an idea of who I am, my name is Emily. I'm one of the senior assistant directors of admissions here at Emmanuel College. I'm also very lucky to be a double alum of the college. So I graduated in 2015 and 2020 with my master's. So I really just can't leave Emmanuel at this point. They're kind of stuck with me. Um, so to give you a brief overview of what Emmanuel is all about. So first and foremost, that beautiful picture you just saw is in Boston, Massachusetts. So we are located right in the heart of Boston, right in a great area, right down the street from Fenway Park where the Boston Red Sox baseball team plays. We're also in the Longwood Medical Area of Boston. So we have uh, Boston Children's Hospital, Brigham and Women's, Beth Israel, and a ton of other medical institutions right down the street from us. And I say that because it opens a lot of doors for in, uh, internships as well as future careers. So to give you a brief overview of kind of what we're all about physically. So we have about 1900 undergraduate students. So we are considered a smaller college, um, but again, we have 17 acres right in the heart of Boston. So it's really nice that students have kind of a home base to uh, go to uh, for their classes, but then have the city of Boston all around them. We are a liberal arts institution. So we have five separate schools that our students are um, split up into. So we have uh, a school of business, a school of education, humanities, nursing and sciences and health. So all of our majors are housed in there. Um, I could go over all the majors we have, but I just don't have enough time. So if you do have specific questions about majors, I'm happy to answer those for you. But again, we are liberal arts. So we go from bio to art, to criminal justice, to business. So, um, and so many, many more. We have about 70 areas of study. Um, to kind of give you some sort of peace of mind, if you are not sure what you want to major in, that's okay. You have until March of your sophomore year to officially declare that major. 
So you can come in totally undeclared and take some time to figure that out. The only exception is our nursing school. Um, we have specific uh, application deadlines and application requirements for nursing, um, and you have to declare that coming in. So if you have specific questions, feel free to drop those in the Q&A, and I'm happy to get into a little bit more detail about that. Um, one other thing I want to mention about our academics, as well as our extracurriculars, which I will talk about in a minute, but we are part of a consortium called the Colleges of the Fenway, and so what this means is that we are partnered with four other schools in the area, and one of which is actually with us today, you'll hear from her in a minute, but uh, we have Simmons University, Wentworth Institute of Technology, Massachusetts College of Art and Design, and Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, so students are able to take classes throughout all of those schools. So not only do you have access to what Emmanuel offers, but you also have access to all the classes at the different schools, as well as the extracurricular activities, which we'll get into in a minute. So again, walking distance in the city, um, it's really nice for students to be able to experience those other schools. The big thing I really want to mention is our internship program. So every single student at Emmanuel participates in an internship, regardless of your major. So if you're an education major, you're going to be student teaching. If you are a nursing major, you're going to be doing clinicals. So you're going to get out into the field that you are majoring in. And so think about your commute when you're thinking about your internships. So do you want to take a quick walk? Do you want to take the T, the bus, um, anything like that? It's really easy to get to your internships here at Emanuel because we are surrounded by businesses and schools and hospitals. And it's just a really, really great city to go to school and taking it from, you know, an alum. I can definitely vouch for that. And then quickly, just to go over some of our student activities, we have 100 clubs and organizations on our campus, as well as other clubs that students will get involved in at the COF schools. So we have from you know community service clubs, we have political clubs on campus, we have student government, things like that. We have cultural clubs. We have clubs for every single major. So if you are a bio major, we have a bio club for you. Um, and you don't necessarily have to be a bio major. You can be a psychology major. And if you're interested in science, you can go to those meetings. Um, so it's really nice for students to be able to get involved. And there's always something to do both on campus and off campus. So I always say if you're bored at a manual, you're doing something wrong because there's definitely tons to do on campus and off campus. And just some nitty gritty details. So if you are looking to apply, um, we are on the Common App and it is free. The application fee is waived. We are looking for an essay, one of the prompts on the Common App. And my biggest advice for that is to tell us something about you. We love to read about you. It is your application. Um, so we definitely want to hear all about you and your experience. We need all of your transcripts from your high schools um, that you attended. So maybe you transferred, whatever the case is. We just want to see your grades to at least first semester senior year. Two letters of recommendation, one being from a school counselor and the other being from an academic teacher. So what are those core subjects, math, science, English, et cetera? Um, finally, we are a test optional institution. So students have the option to decide whether or not they want to submit their test scores. However, for our nursing students, it is going to be required to submit your test scores. So if you have questions about that, feel free to drop a question in the question box. And then finally, we don't um, require interviews, but we love to interview our students. So if you feel like you're really interested in a manual and want to show that um, we definitely will invite you for an interview. Um, so that wraps it up for me. Those are our deadlines. If you have questions, feel free to message me again and thank you all for your attention. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Emily from Emanuel College. If you have any questions for Emily with Emanuel College, please put it down in the Q&A down at the bottom. Also, although your chat as an attendee is disabled, there are uh, some things that uh, attendees or uh, I'm sorry, panelists will put in the chat function, for example, like a, a, an application link for example, a, uh, a contact, contact information for them. So please make sure to also check the chat. They could be sending that information out as well. Next up, we have Richard with Michigan State University. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I'm really happy to be here to talk to so many uh, excited students. I'm one of two MSUs on this panel tonight. I'm joined by my colleague Joy from Mich Mississippi State. So when I mention MSU, I'm talking about Michigan State University. 
Uh, my name is Richard Ochterheide. I'm a regional admissions counselor from MSU. I'm based in the state of Florida. I live up in St. Pete, so I'm not too far from all of you. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, as you can see by the numbers on the slide, MSU is indeed a large university and we are proud of it. We have a vast number of resources and opportunities waiting for you. MSU is a global university. We have students from all 50 states in the US and from over 140 different countries around the world. We had the most diverse incoming freshman class of any Big Ten university this past year, and we're very proud of that as well. Uh, MSU is in the Big Ten Conference, so you can expect not only uh, superior uh, athletics, and, uh, but world-class academics as well. Uh, some of our top ranking majors are, and programs are in business, packaging engineering, veterinary medicine, education, environmental sciences, communication arts, and social sciences like criminal justice. Uh, we really do have everything from accounting to zoology, A to Z. MSU is also home to three professional medical schools and a veterinary school, and we do have a professional law school as well. Uh, MSU has your back and has, has a proven track record with a 95% job placement rate within six months of graduation across all of our majors. A big part of this is MSU's expansive alumni force of over 500,000 living alumni all over the world. Uh, wherever your job and career take you, I can guarantee you that there will be other Spartans there as part of the hiring committee or even just to welcome you to that community. Uh, being a Spartan is for life and uh, you will have a lifelong network and connection uh, with your colleagues and friends wherever your job takes you. Uh, the state of Michigan is absolutely beautiful and you will uh, get to experience all four seasons on campus. Uh, MSU's campus is centrally located in Michigan with easy access to the beaches of Lake Michigan uh, and to the great cities like Detroit and Grand Rapids. And we're just a quick train ride away from Chicago as well on the Amtrak. MSU's campus is centrally located in the lower peninsula of Michigan and the greater Lansing capital region. So you not only have access to the capital city of the state, uh, but also to the benefits of a beautiful suburban green park-like campus. Getting to MSU is quite easy. You can either fly into DTW and take a Wi-Fi enabled Michigan Flyer bus to campus, uh, or you can fly into Lansing directly uh, and take a quick five minute Uber to our campus. MSU's campus is big, no hiding that. There's over 500 buildings on campus, but once you're here, you'll learn it's just like a small city with dynamic neighborhoods where you'll feel right at home and find your place. Campus is home to botanical gardens, art museums, performance venues, Big Ten athletics, and recreation sports facilities. MSU really does put you at the center of all of the action. MSU's campus is also the number one most Instagram place in the whole state of Michigan, so you know it's a beautiful place when the most Instagrams in the entire state are happening on our campus. Uh, MSU has an exceptional uh, opportunities for you to take your learning outside of the classroom. We have one of the top ranking education abroad programs with opportunities to study, intern, or complete research on all seven continents. So if it's not cold enough for you in the state of Michigan during winter, you can always jump on one of our research trips to Antarctica to study penguins on a research vessel. MSU is a top 100 ranked research university in the entire world. I can guarantee you that your lives have already been positively affected by the work that has been happening at MSU since the 1800s. Some of the things that get me most excited to be an alumni of the university, I'm a double alum of MSU, is the fact that I did undergraduate research when I was at MSU and that I can guarantee you that your lives have already been enriched by the research happening at MSU. Some of the current things happening right now have to do with autonomous vehicle research, you know, cars that drive themselves transparent solar cells and the way our, our buildings and our cities power themselves using the power of the sun. Uh, instead of blocking out the sun with a, a solar panel, we have transparent solar cells that are see-through and can go right on windows. MSU is responsible for the panda bear re being removed from the endangered species list in China last year and, and hard, due to hard work from conservation officers and policymakers from Michigan State on the ground in China. Uh, drought resistant crops in sub-Saharan Africa, cancer fighting research like cisplatin, the leading cancer fighting drug was discovered at Michigan State University. These are the things that give me goosebumps uh, when I talk about MSU, not the fact that we've won national championships and I go to all, all kinds of cool sporting events, but the fact that Michigan State really is making a difference in the world. Uh, we want you to apply by November 1st of your senior year to be part of the early action timeline, as well as to receive maximum consideration for all of our merit-based scholarships. Uh, you can apply to MSU using any of the three application me uh, methods listed here on the slide, using the MSU app, the Common application, or the Coalition application. 
MSU went test optional for fall 2021, and we have decided to stay test optional for the future. Uh, so that means that you can apply to MSU without submitting an ACT or SAT score, and that will in no way hurt your chances of being admitted to the university or for receiving any of our merit-based scholarships. 94% of MSU students from out of state receive financial aid awards uh, from MSU. MSU awarded over $1.2 billion worth of scholarships and grants for this past year. Uh, and then MSU has a lot of ways to explore our campus. You can go online to msu.edu and search for our virtual options. Here's my contact information. Know that Spartans are leaders, lifesavers, and world changers. There is nothing that will, a Spartan's will cannot accomplish. If this sounds like you, I look forward to connecting more soon. Thank you for joining us tonight. Go green. Awesome. Thank you so much, Richard. If you have any questions for Michigan State University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Mississippi State University. All right, can y'all hear me now? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, y'all might be seeing two different types of screens because I have a double screen going on. But hey, y'all, my name is Joy Smith. I am the admissions coordinator for Mississippi State University, and I work with students in the Central and South Florida area. Um, it's good to see my friend Richard on the screen um, just talking to you about um, MSU in Michigan. Um, I'm going to talk to you about MSU in Mississippi. So Mississippi State University is the leading research institution in the state of Mississippi. We were founded in 1878 as Mississippi A&M. Um, so we have obviously changed our name to Mississippi State University. We are um, on a 10 year growth spurt. So this last year, we actually had a record enrollment for us. Um, we are a little bit over 22,000 students here. Um, so we are actually the second smallest SEC school, which is fine, because um, we give you a big school feel in a small town. Um, our student to faculty ratio is 20 to 1, and our average ACT score for last year's incoming freshman class was a 26. Um, we are going to offer a lot of different types of educational opportunities here at Mississippi State. We have over 180 different degree paths whether it is um, our College of Ag and Life Sciences, which you have a lot of people that are, when they hear that, they think forestry. Um, then we have our College of Architecture, Art and Design, which we are the only professional architecture school in the state of Mississippi. Our College of Arts and Sciences, which is gonna house really your Englishes, your maths, your foreign languages, things like that. Um, but it also has our pre-health advising center, uh, which we put the most students into med school in the state of Mississippi. Um, and we don't even have the med school. Then our College of Business, which is ranked worldwide for entrepreneurship research. Um, we're actually ranked number six in the world for that entre entrepreneurship research. So if you um, are thinking of starting your own company and, and wanting to use resources, we have our eCenter for that. We are also one of 18 programs in the nation for pro golf management. Uh, so PGM, pro golf management. So if you are interested in that area, that is a great place to get involved there. Our College of Education is that traditional school of education. Uh, we are actually the only school in the nation to have a partnership school like we do on our campus. It is a completely public middle school um, here on Mississippi State's campus. It's called the Partnership School. So our students actually get hands-on experience uh, with that middle school here on our campus. Our College of Engineering is one of 40 named colleges of engineering across the nation. Um, we have a national brand for producing some of the best practical engineers in the market. And then our College of Forest Resources, which is what I call the little college that could. Um, it is not very big, but forestry is like a $12 billion industry in the state of Mississippi. Um, and then when you see our College of Veterinary Medicine, that we are a vet school. Um, so with that being said, if you are interested in going to be a veterinarian, we do have that program here at Mississippi State. Um, looking at our pre our vet tech program, it is the only four year um, bachelor's degree program in our College of Veterinary Medicine. We also have a residential honors college, the Shackles Honors College. So if you are a high achieving student and you really want to push yourself academically, then getting involved with our Shackles Honors College will help you do that. We are if my computer will go, we are a founding member of the Southeastern Conference. So we um, 
pride ourselves on providing a robust student experience for our students. So whether that's if you like athletics, we do offer that here. Um, we also offer things if you are interested in athletics, which is fine. So we actually are known for housing the largest outdoor concert in the state of Mississippi. Uh, we're also one of the most diverse campuses in the SEC uh, along with that. So there's lots of ways for you to get involved at Mississippi State. We are located in Starkville, Mississippi. This is where I am today. Um, we were snowed and iced over less last week, so I was really excited to get back into campus today. But Starkville is named the best city to live in in the state of Mississippi. Um, Mississippi State is actually considered its own town. So with that being said, uh, we have a great partnership with Starkville. So you'll see the concert, we have theater, arts, all of that. It's a really great town to be in. Um, so tell your parents not to worry. You're going to be clothed, fed, caffeinated, um, and there's great shopping. So don't worry about that. How do you become a Bulldog? It's very, very simple. We are on the Common Application and the Coalition for College Application. Um, our own application takes about 15 minutes for you to fill out. It's not very difficult. There are no letters of recommendation, no essays, nothing like that. Um, you send us your general application. It's a $40 application fee. Um, if you've not been able to take the ACT or SAT, I don't want that to stress you out for getting admitted um, because we have ways of evaluating you without that. Um, then you're going to send us your high school transcript. You'll see here for non-resident students, our automatic admissions requirements are not competitive. So as long as you have a 20 on the ACT or a 1030 SAT with a 2.5 high school core GPA, you're going to be automatically admitted to Mississippi State. Now, if you don't have those test scores, don't let that stress you out because, again, we do have ways of evaluating you without that. You'll see here, this is your timeline for your senior year. Right now, we're getting really close to March. Um, if you're a junior, this is a great time to take a screenshot. If you're a senior, don't let this stress you out. We have ways of helping you. We do rolling admissions, so there's no uh, deadline with that. We pride ourselves on the value of the education that we provide to you. So this you'll see our room and board. Scholarships, we do automatic scholarships based on ACT, SAT, and GPA. And there's multiple ways to visit. Mississippi is the hospitality state. So you wanna come visit us on campus. It is gorgeous. Um, the springtime is my favorite time. But most importantly, this is my contact information. Please, please, please reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to work with you. I hopefully will get to come to Florida very soon. Um, but in the meantime, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to do what I can for you. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen if it will let me. Thank you so much, Joy. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions for Mississippi State University, please put it down in the Q&A down at the bottom. Next, we have Simmons University. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Dana Bradstreet. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm the Florida Admission Counselor at Simmons University. Um, we are located right in Boston. A few quick facts about us. We are pretty small, um, about 1,800 undergrad students. Um, we have, honestly, probably 10 or 12 come from Florida every year, so not like an overwhelming amount, but um, most of them do come from South Florida. Um, we are residential. Most of our students do live on campus or in apartments in the surrounding area. Um, we are focused on the liberal arts and sciences. Um, we have 49% students of color, 48% the first in their family to go to college. Um, we are also a woman-centered institution. So admission is limited to those who identify as women as well as students who were assigned female at birth. Um, like Emmanuel, we are located in Boston and we are one of the colleges of the Fenway. So Emmanuel is literally our next door neighbor. Um, but all those benefits of being in Boston, you know, the, the internships, um, the concert venues, the sports, having Fenway Park so close, having the Boston Marathon route run, um, you know, not too far from campus. Um, all of those things are amazing. Boston really is a great place to go to college with more than 300,000 college students. And um, there's actually 15 other colleges that you can walk to within the 15 minutes of the Simmons campus. Um, and we're pretty easy to get to about a three hour flight um, from Fort Lauderdale. Um, you can take the subway right from Logan Airport, which is in Boston, um, to the campus. I'm not going to read each and every one of our majors, so um, take a second to look through and, and see if you, what you're interested in is up here. I will say the beauty of liberal arts and sciences is that you can decide later. You don't have to apply for most of our programs. You have your first two years at Simmons to declare. 
Um, additionally, about 13% of our students will double major um, and many students will combine a major and a minor. Um, nursing is our one bachelor's program. You do have to um, apply directly for just because it's so accelerated, it's, it's so sequenced um, that the classes start right away in the first year. Um, also on the right hand side, we have some accelerated programs listed. Um, many of those programs you do have to apply for as well, just because you're squishing in that bachelor's and that master's or that doctorate degree in some case, in one case, um, into a shorter period of time. So again, you have to start those classes right away in your first year. Um, all of our students at Simmons complete some sort of hands-on experience. So maybe that's a clinical, maybe that's research or an internship, um, an independent study. It's up to you and your faculty how you want to um, fulfill that requirement. We have 96% of our students either employed or in grad school six months after they've graduated from Simmons. Um, and to give some examples, um, a computer science alumna who got a job at Twitter, um, a graphic design student who got a job at um, Snapchat, actually helping to design some of the filters, um, a bio student who was not from Florida, but she went down to Florida um, to do her graduate program studying manatee biology, um, a nursing alum who got hired by Lifestar to ride in the helicopter um, and help out some of the most serious, um, seriously ill patients. And those are just, just some examples. Um, I will also say that this is where being at a woman centered institution will really help you out. Um, you're twice as likely to complete a graduate degree versus women who go to co-ed schools. Um, and actually you're 12 times as likely, think about it, 12 times um, as likely to stick with a STEM major versus women who go to co-ed schools. And I think it really speaks to the extra support you're getting from faculty and staff. Um, about three quarters of our faculty and staff are women. Um, there's also this focus on leadership embedded in the curriculum. Um, every student takes a leadership course in their very first year at Simmons. Um, and then also, you know, having role models who you can look up to, the captains of the sports teams, um, the presidents of the student organizations um, are all women. So they're there to really mentor you. We're not a school where there's like a lot of competition um, or anything like that. Um, in terms of next steps, if you're interested, if you do happen to be a senior, um, there is still time to apply. I would you know, get going as soon as possible. Um, if you are a junior, you obviously have a year or so to make that decision. Um, Simmons has no application fee. Um, Simmons is on the common application, so it just makes your life easier to apply to multiple schools. Um, and we don't require applications for most of our scholarships. There is one scholarship, our full ride program, the Kotzen, that you do have to apply for. Um, we are test optional for this year for seniors. Um, for juniors, stay tuned. We're going to make an announcement in the next few weeks. Um, and we offer a number of virtual visits six days a week. We're hoping to um, offer on-campus visits a little bit later this spring. So again, stay tuned for some more information um, about that. We would love to see you in Boston soon. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Take care. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Simmons University. If you have any questions for them, please put it down in the Q&A down at the bottom. Next and last but not least, we have Westminster College. All right, give me a second to just share my screen here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Walter Prado, and I am an admissions counselor representing Westminster College in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, so just a little bit about our campus. Um, our 32 acre campus is located in the heart of Salt Lake City's eclectic Sugar House neighborhood, which is just about 10 minutes from downtown, 30 minutes from six mountain resorts, and just a stone's throw away from a number of national parks. Um, we have the benefits of a larger city, but trails just 10 minutes from campus and 10 ski resorts within an hour's drive. So just a little bit about Westminster itself. Uh, we are a private independent liberal arts college where students benefit from multidisciplinary learning 
in an atmosphere dedicated to civic engagement. Um, we are a liberal arts campus, so that means that you are able to explore other interests and broaden your knowledge in areas beyond your major. We have a total enrollment of just above 2,000 students, with half of our students being out of state. And as a private school, we have the same tuition as well as generous scholarships and need-based aid for both in-state and out-of-state students. Westminster has a close-knit supportive community and is a teaching first institution. So that means that all of our professors are here because they love teaching, they care about students. You won't be in a giant lecture hall um, full of hundreds of students. Our average class size is about 15 with a cap of 25. So you'll have a closer relationship with your peers and your professor. Um, Westminster has over 50 programs and majors uh, across the five schools that are on your screen there. Um, some of the most popular majors that we have are nursing, business, performing arts, biology, and outdoor education and leadership. Um, just to highlight some of our programs, our performing arts program has majors in dance, music, and theater arts, and also has talent-based scholarships available to anyone entering those majors. Um, any interested students would just have to audition to be considered for any of those scholarships. We also have a pre-professional health major for anyone that is interested in going into a career in medicine. Our pre-professional health major offers offers courses that satisfy prerequisites for all kinds of health programs. And finally, we have a highly competitive direct entry nursing program for current high school seniors who want to go straight into their nursing curriculum. However, any student who is not admitted into the direct entry nursing program is invited to apply again later in their college career. All right, so just a little bit about our athletics program. Um, we are a member of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, and um, we are an NCAA Division II school with about 15 sports teams, some of which are listed on your screen there. We do offer a limited number of athletic scholarships available for our sports teams. Um, and if you have any questions about any of those scholarships or would like more information, our contact information will be available on the last slide. So if you're a first generation college student, we have programs geared towards you and your success, such as the Legacy Program and McNair Scholars. Um, for students interested in research, Westminster offers incredible undergraduate opportunities, and about 85% of Westminster students participate in internships or research by the time they graduate. Again, if you have any questions about any of the programs listed on your screen, um, we invite you to contact us at any time. All right, so just a little bit about our residence and student life. Um, Westminster has a two-year housing requirement for all incoming first-year freshmen. And why do we offer this requirement? Uh, we want to build a community for all of our students to feel a sense of belonging once they're here on campus. And studies have shown that students who live on campus are more likely to succeed in college. Um, this success could mean just building your social networks, finding community, and having the motivation to show up to class and other events because of the close proximity. Um, Westminster also offers the opportunity to become involved in one of our um, over 40 student-led clubs and organizations, which range from those that are major specific to those that are more social in nature. Um, a comprehensive list of all of those clubs are available on our Associated Students of Westminster website. And of course, if none of those clubs are of your interest, then you are invited to start your own club as well. All right, so at Westminster, we deeply care about our student success and well being, and we offer a wide variety of student support services. With respect to time, I will not be going over all of these programs, but if you would just take a look at this list, and if you have any questions um, about any of these services, again, our contact information will be available at the end of the presentation, and we invite you to contact us with any questions you might have. All right, so the big question is, how do we pay for college? Um, there are a number of ways a student can receive aid at Westminster. Um, all students are automatically considered for merit-based scholarships when they apply to our school. And of course, there are also um, need-based grants available for our students. 
So applying to Westminster, we are um, also a test optional school with a free application with two ways to apply. Uh, we are on the Common app or you can apply directly on our website. We don't prioritize one over the other, whichever is more convenient for you. We encourage you to apply. And that concludes my presentation. I know that was a lot of information in such a short amount of time, but um, if you have any questions, our contact information is right there. Um, feel free to reach out to me or any one of our admissions counselors at any time. We're all here to support you and we look forward to connecting with you. Thank you so much, Walter from Westminster College. If you have any questions for Westminster College, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. At this point in time, I'd like to invite all of our presenters back on video. And uh, we do have a few extra minutes left on the clock. So at this point in time, uh, we will do kind of a round robin style uh, Q&A with the question that you see on your screen. So we will start with Emmanuel College. Uh, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process currently? Yeah, that's a great question. I think my big advice is don't feel pressure to apply to a zillion colleges. I think the Common App limits you to 24, which is a lot. <laughs> You're not going to attend 24 colleges, so you don't have to apply. So I just feel like narrow down your list, find the right schools that are going to fit you and just do what's best for you. Don't, you know, listen, don't, don't pay attention to what your friend's doing with their life, do what you're doing, but really just limit, limit how many you're going to apply to because you'll just overwhelm yourself. <laughs> great advice. Thank you. Michigan State University. Yeah, absolutely. Great advice there. I would just add that uh, be true to yourself through the process. You know, don't sell yourself short. Uh, application season can be long and grueling and college applications uh, are not always as simple and straightforward as we wish they could be. Um, so don't sell yourself short. If there's something unique about yourself, let us know. That's all of our job as admissions counselors is to, to learn as much as we can about you and make a judgment call on whether or not you would be a good fit for our academic communities. Uh, you know, each of you are involved in things that make you unique and uh, we want to know about it. So don't, so don't uh, just rush through your applications. Actually take the time to highlight all of the things that make you unique and are important that we will consider during your application. Fantastic advice. Thank you. Um, Mississippi State University. Yeah, great um, points. I would say three things I would add to that. Um, get to know your admissions counselors. We're here to help you through that process and we're not scary. Um, this is our job. We love working with students and so that's why we're here. But to go and visit, whether it is virtually right now, I know a lot of schools are doing virtual. If they're doing in person, do in person. Um, and talk about what, th really think about what you want in your college experience. All of us at this panel today offer very different experiences whenever it comes to college. You've got to think about what's going to fit you best. Um, and we're all here to help you kind of figure that out. So that would be my three pieces of advice. Awesome. Thank you so much. Simmons University. Every college has different application deadlines and different requirements for what materials you have to submit. So I would suggest finding a place to get all of that information from all the colleges you're interested in, in one location. So maybe that's a bullet journal, maybe that's a Google sheet, whatever works best for how your mind works um, to make sure that you're not missing any deadlines um, or requirements. Fantastic advice. Last but not least, Westminster College. Yeah, um, so my advice is to look for a school that not only has the program you want, but also shares the same values that you do. So if you value diversity and social justice, make sure that the schools that you apply to also value those things. Um, and also, um, I think someone else mentioned this as well, but if possible, try to visit the campuses that you're interested in, um, if they're offering that. Um, you're going to be on that campus for four plus years, so it's really important that you feel at home on that campus. Fantastic. Thank you all so, so much for those answers. Absolutely great advice, and I know that our attendees are probably taking notes and writing these down, so thank you all so much. With that said, we have reached the conclusion of our virtual college fair uh, for this evening. So thank you all so, so much uh, for attending. Thank you all also presenters uh, for presenting about your prospective uh, institutions as well. 
Uh, just a couple last second things. You will get a quick survey after you close this window. Super, super quick. Four question survey will appear. So please give us some feedback. Also sign up for more sessions. There are more sessions and more college presentations happening tonight. So please uh, do that as well. And then also remember that a recording will be available within about a week or so of tonight's presentation. So please feel free to check that out and uh, share with your uh, friends, family, or anyone else interested in the institutions tonight. Again, thank you all so, so very much. And uh, coming from the Northeast, stay safe and uh, stay warm. <laughs> thank you all so much. Bye-bye.